Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. We're at the North Beach of Corpus Christi, Texas. North Beach is uh, just across the Harbor Bridge from the downtown area of Corpus Christi. And uh, this area is under major development right now. It's pretty cool as it is, but they got big plans for this place. So uh, there's the old Harbor Bridge right there. And you can kind of see parts of the new Harbor Bridge right to the right. And I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited about the Harbor Bridge. The new one has had delays. But uh, when it's done, it's going to be the tallest structure in South Texas. Over 50 stories tall. Uh, you're going to be able to see everything from up there. I mean, that's pretty neat. That is a $1 billion bridge. Um, and it's, uh, they're building it so high uh, so they can allow bigger ships to come into the Corpus Christi Channel. Uh, the port will pick up. Uh, new jobs. Uh, the plan to, to renovate this whole North Beach area is exciting. Uh, the things they're already building right now are exciting. It's kind of a lazy beach town, and I think they want to keep that vibe. But uh, to get everything update, there's major drainage issues on this little island, if you will. And uh, they're going to put in, uh, the centerpiece is going to be a canal. Uh actual boats can go up and down the canal it'll have access to corpus christi bay and that's going to be the center drainage point um when there's heavy storms here this little island is a mess there's already some world-class things here the texas state aquarium is uh here it's rated the number three aquarium in north america i read uh it's got a bunch of these little t-shirt shops it um, has really some really good places to eat. Uh, the USS Lexington is here, aircraft carrier that you can uh, tour. That's uh, pretty awesome. Uh, the Harbor Bridge here uh, lights up at night. And uh, I need to come back here on a clear night. It's just been misty and foggy uh, at night and early mornings. It's not too bad right now, but you can definitely see the haze in the air. There's the Texas State Aquarium. We did we did a video from there a few months back. If you'd like to check that out. Went inside and saw all the exhibits. Some of the shows weren't going on because of COVID. Uh, but uh, yeah, we saw a lot. That's uh, Corpus Christi Bay. Let's cut up here. Yeah, they're, uh, they got big plans for shops and restaurants and uh, new hotels. There's Texas State Aquarium with the Harbor Bridge behind it. I mean, inside there, it is beautiful. It's really something to see. There's the Lexington right there through the trees and the mist. And that's uh, amazing. The, uh, the film uh, Midway, the older film Midway, not the most recent one. And uh, Pearl Harbor with, uh, I think Ben Af Affleck was in that one. Uh, scenes were filmed aboard the, uh, the the Lexington there. You can see this is all under construction. They have some decent places to eat here too. I like uh, Pier 99. I like uh, there's a cheesesteak place called Yo Philly that's uh, good. And um, I don't mind sitting on the back deck at uh, Fajitaville uh, sitting outside in the shade with a ice cold beer and uh they have a grill in the bar area and then the the upper floors uh it's an indoor restaurant right on the beach but the i really like the bottom floor a little blue marlin bar over there is kind of a dive bar that i really like there's a blue angel displayed right out on the lexington they had a uh, a rodeo event up on the deck of the lexington a few months ago uh to raise money for charity so there's always things going on down here. If you're coming to visit, just across that harbor bridge is the downtown area. There's Brewster Street Ice House, where it, which is a great concert venue. House of Rock, um, Concrete Street Amphitheater, uh, the American Bank Center is there, uh, the Selena Auditorium, and uh, I feel like I'm missing some of the better uh, music venues. 
uh, a couple streets, the downtown area with uh, great bars, restaurants. There's another shark you can walk into, guys. <laughs> T-shirt shops love big sharks, don't they? <laughs> the hotels here are a little older, and that's part of the project. Uh, they're talking about is getting all this uh, really like a dream tourist vacation destination. Um, big money. There's videos online that show you the plans and, you know, what it could be. There's uh, the Radisson. There's a bunch of smaller hotels here. That little purple building, uh, Blackbeards. They got a good burger and beer in there, you know. I would put Blackbeards on my list of places I would eat. Blackbeards. Yeah, like four places I can think of here that I uh, like. We'll have to do a Friday feast from one of these huh, coming up. There's the... Uh, that's where the Harbor Bridge comes down. But I did want to head down this way. And of course, all this is right along Corpus Christi Bay. There's beaches there. This beach does not compare to Port Aransas. I don't want to pretend like it does. But... There's such potential here, you know. If, 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 if you were young, if you're like college age, you can come here and party your butts off. Uh, Port Aransas is different, but um, I could see you having a good time at uh, both. I'm older. I probably want to go to Port Aransas. This is uh, Fajitaville, this three-story uh, building here. They had a Ferris wheel, and they took it out, which I don't know if anyone ever rode it, but it just looked cool to have a Ferris wheel there, you know? You can walk right through the front there, but what I like to do is go to the back here. You can go in through the front, but walk out to the back, uh, indoor-outdoor bar around the back here, and uh, I do enjoy sitting back there with a beer. I used to go to the aquarium quite a bit, and afterwards I would go sit there with a beer and just people watch and... I mean, this is mid-April, and there's a decent amount of people at the beach today. I just hope there's no girls in bikinis blocking my view of the water, you know? Gets aggravating. <laughs> there's a good one right there. Oh, I got a joke. And I'm drawing a blank who gave it to me. What's the weather report in Mexico? Warm today, chilly tomorrow. There it is, folks. Hello, ladies. Yeah, this uh, this mist, guys, is kind of... Uh, my windshield's clean. The camera's clean. It's just uh, foggy, misty out. On the weekends, they'll get a DJ in there uh, starting about midday. And a uh, good place to hang out. That uh, hotel there is affiliated with it. Go online, check the hotels, check the reviews, check the pricing. Uh, if you take the causeway, it takes you over to Portland, Texas. If you take the Harbor Bridge, it takes you to downtown Corpus Christi. So in North Beach is part of Corpus Christi. And I want to take you down to some of the construction at the end. Yeah, that, uh, that new bridge they're building blew my mind a billion dollars tallest structure uh, in texas they're gonna have it's it's so cool their plan here is to have water taxis going up and down that canal and then uh taking people over to downtown corpus christi on the other side of the channel uh where all the bars and restaurants are i mean that would be so cool like that would be an event right there in itself you know uh, the, the, uh down at the far end here they're uh they're going to uh, structure a uh, nature preserve for, uh, so it's like you're right here at the beach town, but also you got a little preserve right there to check out the, uh, the birds and uh, any other wild animals that uh, come along. So something they're working down on the end here, uh, Lighthouse Point Apartments. Uh, they're spending $25 million on that, apartments and townhouses with a marina, spa, restaurant, a chapel, and then a 136-foot lighthouse. And it's not like little, uh, little rinky-dink 
fake lighthouse. It is a legit lighthouse. And uh, that would make it the tallest in Texas at 136 feet. And I also read something about like it's, it would also make it the largest stone lighthouse in, I think, I think it said the United States. And I could be wrong about that, but sometimes when I check, I, I checked about eight different sites on the internet and you get le legit eight different answers, you know? So, uh, some said it was 135 feet and then it would say 136 feet and the numbers are always just a little bit off and you think there would be like one press release where they would get all their information from, but just went ahead down here. Yeah, like this area all in here will uh, be a wildlife preserve. And they had like curvy roads going through it. I mean, the, the, the ideas they have are just amazing. And I, I hope, I hope they do it in my lifetime because I would love to live cl the, that close to something like this, you know? There's a trailer park down here right now. That's looking out at, uh, I guess that would be Corpus Christi Bay and then Nueces Bay, right? On the left. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, right under the uh, bridge here. So, like, you, we would be looking at a huge lighthouse right there already. And uh, it would be so cool, especially... When I lived over in Portland, like, those people are going to get to see a lighthouse, you know? And that's kind of be, going to be like a beacon welcoming everyone to Corpus Christi when you come in from that direction. But those apartments right there, they're uh, working on it. And then that structure right to the right there, that's going to be the lighthouse. You can see it's pretty massive. And it, you, uh, it has the framework. It's going to have the stairs that you walk up, you know, the winding stairs. So, uh, yeah, pretty awesome. Be very cool. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you.